Hello, I'm Gia, celebrity makeup artist, and I've been doing some investigating into mineral makeup. I really wanted to get to know the truth behind the hype of mineral makeup and find out about it. I'm very, very keen on using more natural products on the skin, and knowing the uh, reputation of mineral makeup being hugely, hugely natural and not using any chemicals, I really wanted to try it out and see um, how it worked. So I did a lot of investigation into different brands and the one I found I liked the most was Bare Minerals. So what is mineral makeup? Mineral makeup is a, essentially just a powder, but it comes from minerals from the ground, which are ground up very, very finely into a powder. And they come in different shades depending on what mineral colors were used but it's ground very, very, very fine. And depending whether you use it as a foundation, a blusher or eyeshadow, um, you just blend it into the skin and it works very well with the natural oils um, of, your, of your skin. So what are the benefits of mineral makeup? Well, one of the key benefits um, is it's very good for sensitive skin, skin with, that has um, rosacea or such like. Um, because it's all based on um, a natural products, it works in harmony with your skin. There's no preservatives, no, un um, no oils or fragrances in it. So it, um, it works much better, it absorbs into the skin. The other great thing about mineral makeup is that it has UV protection already built into it. Some of the, um, the oxides that are used actually have natural SPF. So how to apply mineral makeup? Now they all come in little pots and all loose. And so all you do, using your, your, your pot and your lid, you tap a very small amount onto the lid. The colour I'm using, which I found worked well on me, is the golden medium. When you have a small amount on your lid, use one of two brushes. One of the brushes, the smaller one, which is the flawless face, is quite soft, so if you want a lighter coverage, use the full flawless face if you want a deeper, stronger coverage. Um, they're sort of like kabuki brushes. So I'm going to use the, um, the fuller uh, flawless face only because I feel I need a bit more um, coverage. So just swirl your brush around the lid, tap it. This puts the product deep into the brush and even, evens it out. And then start putting it onto your skin. The key is to buff and buff and buff. When I first started using mineral makeup, um, I didn't buff enough and it still looked really cakey on my skin and could re and it really showed up. But when I realized that you really, really buff it, um, I found I got a much better finish. So really buff it into the skin. The next step is concealing. Um, we need a concealing brush for this and just, again, a small amount of product in the lid. Take a small amount out with your brush and place it on any areas you want to have more, more concealing, more coverage. Um, I have a wonderful spot on my chin and I'm just using that to cover it up. Next, I want to have more coverage under my eyes that are looking a little bit lackluster at the moment. And with this, you just place it under the eye and pat it in. The next step is to do some bronzing, some warming up of the skin. Um, this is using their warmth product. Um, again, put a small amount in the lid, just a tiny amount using your brush. I'm using for this one flawless face because I don't want it to be quite so strong, the coverage. Tap. And then use this where the sun would naturally fall on your face. On the forehead, round into the cheeks. And I've instantly got a little bit more warmth to my skin. Next step is the blusher. This is this one's called Flowers and it's a lovely natural blush colour. Tap a small amount into the lid. Using my flawless face, again I don't want it to be too the coverage to be strong with the blusher. Put a small amount on the brush, tap it, and then on the atlas of your cheeks. 
dust a small amount over cheeks to add a lovely blush, to add a lovely blushed colour. And finally, this product is amazing. It's the original Mineral Veil. It's really just a finishing powder. It sets the makeup and also it can help reduce uh, pore sizes in particular areas that you might need it. Small amount on the brush and just buff this over the skin. A good tip, if you do have a particular blemish or something that's quite unsightly that you find that the mineral makeup doesn't cover so well on its own, just use a small amount of concealer, your normal concealer underneath, place it on and then put the bare minerals, mineral makeup over the top. The main tips for mineral makeup is buff, buff, buff away and you really will get it to blend into the skin. And you might find to start with, it does look a tiny bit cakey when you first put it on, but guarantee within about half an hour or so, the natural oils of your skin will mix with the mineral makeup and make it look really shiny and iridescent.